Now let us see the mechanism of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion. How they are formed and why they are formed. When we are adding acid to water, hydronium ion will be formed and when we are adding base to water, hydroxyl ion will be formed. What is the property of water? That it is a polar covalent molecule. Now to check out what are the covalent molecules? And there are two types of covalent molecules, polar covalent molecule and non-polar covalent molecule. To know more about this, check my videos based on chapter 2, chemical bonding. So water is a polar covalent molecule. That means we can observe a charge separation within molecule. So and it shows charge separation. What is the meaning of charge separation? One will acquire slight negative charge, other one will acquire slight positive charge. Let us see that first. So this is two hydrogen having one one electron and this is oxygen having six electron in its outermost shell. So hydrogen and oxygen will combinedly form a bond and they are forming a molecule. But within water molecule because there are two unused lone pair of electrons. Oxygen will develop slightly two delta negative charge. With one unused pair, it develops one delta negative charge. With other one, it develops another one. So the oxygen will develop two delta negative charge. While the hydrogen, both hydrogen will develop delta positive charge. Because the electrons are more towards the electronegativity is more towards the oxygen and not towards the hydrogen. So water molecule is observing a charge separation within molecule. Both the hydrogen ion will observe little bit positive charge, partial positive charge and oxygen will observe partial negative charge. First of all, we will see how the hydronium ion will form. So this is our water molecule when we are adding acid. HCl, hydrochloric acid, that is again a polar covalent molecule. So it also observes a charge separation within molecule. So H will carry delta positive charge. Chlorine will carry delta negative charge. Now, within water molecule, these two lone pairs are unused. So this H plus of acid will attract it towards the unused pair of electrons. Now if you will see here the hydrogen has one atomic number and if you will see the electronic configuration then it is one and if it donate one electron it becomes H plus. It donates one electron and it becoming H plus. So H plus doesn't have any of the electrons. So this H plus will go and combine with this H plus will go and combine with this water molecule. This is a complete water molecule and this is our H plus which comes from the HCl. So this H will combine here. Since this hydrogen is using the electrons of oxygen. It doesn't have any electron because it is H+. plus. So the electron is sharing both the electrons from itself. So this is coordinate covalent bond and this whole molecule will observe positive charge on it because oxygen has contributing both the electrons and negative charge little bit surpassed. So that's why this will observe positive charge on it. And Cl minus will be left behind from this. So you can learn more about this in chapter 2 chemical bonding coordinate covalent bond. So here this is a mechanism of how the hydronium ion will be formed. Here if you will see this is 3H. So H3O plus. So this is a formation of hydronium ion and which will form only in presence of acid. When any acid will gives H plus dissociate in a water and gives H plus then only that H plus will combine here 
and gives you hydronium ion. Now what will happen in the case of hydroxyl ion? So this is our hydroxyl ion. When ammonia mixing with the water, it gives NH4 plus OH minus and gives NH4 OH a base. Let us see the mechanism. This and with 3 hydrogen and nitrogen also has one unused lone pair of electrons. So it carries one delta negative charge and rest all hydrogen will carry delta positive charge. A chair separation they can observe within the molecule. Here this is a water molecule. There is also a charge separation in the water molecule. So here what will happen? This H plus of water molecule H plus of water molecule will attract it towards the lone pair of nitrogen. This unused pair of electron which nitrogen carries it has a negative charge in it and this is positive charge. So this will attract it towards here and this since this is H plus it doesn't have any electron so the nitrogen will donate its two electron to hydrogen and that's why they are forming coordinate covalent bond and this NH4 plus will observe positive charge on it because the nitrogen has donated both the electrons and the OH minus will be left behind from where from the water molecule if you will see the water molecule there will be charge separation like H plus and OH minus so H plus will combined with ammonia and OH minus will be left behind. So that's why the base always gives OH minus. Base will always give hydroxyl ion whereas acid will always give H3O plus that is hydronium ion.